All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, flats, love them or hate them, you gotta take them. And uh, there are several ways to do this. A lot of people just point at the sky and take their flats. I don't like doing that because I always get gradients. A lot of people like to put t-shirts over their scopes. I don't like doing that because of the dust. Um, there are purpose-built flat fielders that are extremely expensive. And I personally, I've never had $400 to drop on one of those. So I've never tried one, so I can't speak to those. But what most people do is buy one of these guys, the um, $20 Amazon tracing pads. And they kind of work, but they're terrible, okay? This USB connection, you'll be lucky, you'll be lucky to get a year out of that. It's, it's garbage. Um, and if you look closely, you've got dark banding around here. You've got discoloration. It's not a flat field. But I have found something. Somebody posted a link in one of the in the big telescope group and asked if anyone had ever tried these things. And I looked into it and it looked promising, so I bought one. And there it is. It's it's a lighting fixture from a company called Thousand Bulbs, and it already looks vastly superior to this guy. And it costs like twenty dollars too, to twenty five dollars I think that was. It it looks really nice and it's huge. It's like two feet by two feet. So, you know, if you've got a 14-inch scope, that, that's going to work for you. It's It's got a little bit of stuff in the corners, but overall it looks nice and flat. And we're gonna, hopefully these clouds are going to break up. They're supposed to, but uh, hopefully they break up and I get some time on the... I'm going to take some shots of the Triangulum Galaxy tonight. And I'm going to do a set of flats with both of these guys, and we'll see how they look. Now... This thing is not, you know, the panacea. It's got some issues. There are, uh, well, firstly, it runs on uh, 110 AC. So that's, that's our first problem. And also with, you need to dim it because it's extremely bright if you don't dim it. I've just got, I cut an old extension cord and wired it into the box in the back. And you just plug it in and it turns on. But if you don't dim it, it is ridiculously bright. And it needs like 0 to 10 volts for the dimmer. So 0, it's off. 10 volts, it's all the way on. I put a 1 in, like, I think that's like 1 and a third of a volt, that battery. And uh, it's, it's, it's pretty subdued. I think that'll work. Um, but yeah, so you're going to have to work with 110. To get it to work and that's no joke if you are not an electrician uh be careful with that because you could die um but yeah I'm, I, I need a permanent solution for this i'm going to put a battery box with a switch on it for uh for the dimming for that so it's not an out of the box solution but i really am hopeful that that is going to be a nice flat field e e even if the clouds don't break up uh I'm going to shoot a set of flats and we could, you know, rotate them and use pixel math on them and see, see which ones are actually flat. Um, so we'll, I'll be able to show you that at least, but hopefully we get an image tonight too. A major downside of this thing is that it is heavy. So you cannot lay this on top of your telescope to take your flats. Um, now, if you have an observatory, it would be really handy just to mount it on your wall and have your telescope point at it and automate, automate your flats. That would be cool. But yeah, it's too heavy to set up on top of your dew shield. Um, if you don't have a dew shield on, it might your, your regular telescope might support it. But yeah, I can't put it up on top of my dew shield. All right, how did we do? I, as I said before, I took... Two sets of flats, one with the old tracing tablet and one with the new lighting fixture. And uh, they came out, you know, like flats. These these look like your typical flats. The, this, this is the tracing tablet, this is the lighting fixture, and, you know, at first blush they both look fine. But I subtracted one from the other and... There's obviously a pretty significant difference in illumination. Um, and that shows up big time in the final image. And the first thing I did was I integrated a master flat, cloned it, 
rotated it 180 degrees and subtracted it from itself to kind of get an idea. I'm sorry. I've had quite a few beers. I'm burping. Um, to kind of get an idea of the evenness of the illumination. And this is what I got from doing that. Um, on the left here we have the tracing tablet and on the right we have the lighting fixture. And you can see there's a pretty significant difference in the, the blotchiness of the tracing tablet. It's the, the tracing tablet just produced a lot more blotchiness. Um, it, it's subtle but when that adds up over sub exposures and sub exposures and sub exposures when when that subtle error starts compounding it makes a big difference in your final image and uh, let's see what the final images look like um, this is okay I forgot I forgot to mention that uh, my T ring cuts off a lot of my light cone I do not fully illuminate my 5d mark 3 that's a full frame sensor I need a bigger T ring because that my telescope will illuminate it but yeah it gets it gets cut off so that's crappy but overall yeah I mean you get the idea this this was with the lighting fixture there's something this must be like a reflection inside my maybe it's like the bottom of my mirror or something illuminating it I don't know what that is but anyways um, this was with the tracing tablet yeah not so good the, the tracing tablet was obviously too bright and that blotchiness that big corner that was brighter is evident here you've got kind of a, a, a haze down here that goes over the galaxy and uh, that nice subdued lighting fixture produced a much superior a, a, a much better result I didn't do any kind of background extraction any nothing I just left the I did you know typical curves histogram saturation just you know basic editing did this basically the same exact thing to both images and uh, it, it makes a drastic difference having that nice flat field um, yeah like just and having this right here on in the tracing tablet galaxy this was kind of blown out by the uneven illumination of that tracing tablet and it you know it seriously cut into the color data it's uh we would have to really heavily saturate that to bring it out and uh this just naturally had a lot of nice blue and red and stuff in it because the the flat you know preserved the signal instead of uh, damaging the signal and you know because that tracing tablet is so so bright you've got extra reflection around the outside here and you know it just the, the lighting fixture did a, a much better job now you've got to take flats you know unless unless you're happy with an image like this this is what you don't what you have when you don't take flats So if you're going to take flats, you might as well take good flats. So finding this lighting fixture that can do such a nice job is a big deal for me. And I'm happy and I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to stop fighting with this garbage all the time. Um, the, the, the website is 1000bulbs.com. Here it is, $29.57. Um, there, you know, there it is, a 2x2 two two light panel. It is awesome. So, I hope you take better flats, and I hope you have fewer fights with your data. I'm going to do a better job processing this and uh, show you what it, the final product looks like.